And then lastly, the rights of the non-Muslims upon you. And if a person says, MashaAllah, even the non-Muslims now have a right upon us. And we reply that non-Muslims should be aware that this religion, it has obligated upon the Muslims rights of the non-Muslims. How did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to behave with and interact with the non-Muslims? Was it through bad manners? And some of the ulama have mentioned that had the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam done nothing except interact with the non-Muslims in a good manner, then this would have been sufficient for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to overcome them, meaning not overcome them with his, with his sword, but overcome them with good manners. And so we have to be sincere in our advice towards the non-Muslim. And we have to be compassionate and fear the fire for the non-Muslims. So you have to fear Allah and not belittle the non-Muslims. And don't say to the non-Muslim that you're upon goodness because you're cheating him. Rather tell him that come to this way, come to Islam, come to guidance. I fear the fire for you. And also we have to be in the correct middle course.